Electronic configuration. The electron configuration is the distribution of electrons of an atom or molecule or other physical structure in atomic or molecular orbitals. If we want to learn about the electronic configuration, so it is important to learn about shells. An electron shell is the outside part of an atom around the atomic nucleus. It is a group of atomic orbitals with the same value of the principal quantum number n. Each shell is described by an n value and can have values 1 2 3 when n is equals to 1 so it is k shell n is equals to 2 l shell n is equals to 3 m shell and so on next is to know about the subshell subshell is a subdivision of electron shell separated by electron orbitals subshells are labeled as s p d and f in an electron configuration how we can relate shells, subshells and orbitals. Each atom has an electron shell which is labeled as K, L, M, N, O, P, Q or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 moving from the shell closest to the atomic nucleus and moving outward. Electrons in outer shells have higher average energy than those in inner shells. Each shell consists of one or more subshells. Each subshell is composed of atomic orbitals. OPPO principle. This scheme is OPPO principle. According to this, the principal electron fills the lowest energy subshell that is available first. This means electron will fill first 1s, then 2s, then 2p, and so on. There is a formula 2n square, which is actually Bohr's formula. Formula 2n square helps in the determination of the maximum number of electrons present in an orbit. Here, n is equals to orbit number. The formula helps in determination of arrangement of electrons and is known as Bohr-Burry schemes. Let's take example. If we are using this formula 2n square to fill the electrons in the orbit, then we will take n is equal to 1. 2 into 1 square, it will be equal to 2 electrons. It's mean that maximum electrons in K shell will be 2. You can see here, this is the first shell which is known as K shell and here 2 electrons can accommodate. Let's take another example of using this formula 2n square if n is equals to 2 so we will put in this formula 2 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 so 8 electrons maximum electrons in l shell will be 8 as i told you earlier the second shell will be l shell you can see in this diagram as well the first shell is k shell with two electrons and the second shell is l shell with total number of eight electrons now let's take the example of hydrogen. We know hydrogen has atomic number 1. So it's mean that 1s1. If you see the OHPO principle or OHPO rule, so it will we will take 1s because hydrogen has one electron. So in 1s only one electron will come. And here you can see only one electron is there. But what is this 1s? This is actually first shell. K shell and S is subshell. It's mean that shell consists of subshell S. Let's take the example of the sodium with atomic number 11. If we see this scheme, so first we will fill 1s with 2 electrons, then 2s with 2 electrons, 2p with 6 electrons, and then 3s with 1 electron. Now we will assign the values. 1 is K shell. 2 is L shell, 
3 is M shell. If we see this figure, so first shell consists of 2 electrons. The second shell consists of 6 plus 2, 8 electrons. And here 8 electrons are revolving in second shell. And the third shell in the sodium, it consists of only 1 electron. So in this way, we can write the electronic configuration of sodium. Now you can do practice of electronic configuration for other elements as well. If you have understood about the shells and subshells. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it will be helpful for teachers and students. For further interesting chemistry videos, stay tuned with Chemistry Tutor HR.